Hey, what's going on everyone? Matthew from the righttrader.com back again with another great cryptocurrency video. Please make sure to hit that like button as we're going to look into Matic, otherwise known as Polygon. So uh, I'm going to be reviewing the Matic token, how it's been performing recently. It is currently at 57 cents uh, after peaking down uh, just a while back. It hit a uh, a low of 33 cents and that was as of right now sort of our peak bottom uh we have recovered pretty nicely since then and i think that recovery can actually continue it is currently at the 18th spot with a market cap of 4.6 billion dollars so i'm going to consider this a little bit on the smaller side for such a big project this is a medium-sized market cap crypto uh but as can be seen by uh the crypto rankings uh, Polygon is a very strong competitor uh, within its uh, its ranking, right? So uh, you need to remember that if you go to uh, Polygon's Twitter, they have 1.5 million followers. So this is uh, quite an impressive number of followers. And uh, you need to remember that this is really a triple A blue chip cryptocurrency, uh, no matter what anybody says. Um, actually funny enough, it's trending right now on Twitter. Uh, that's just a coincidence, I think. But, um, look at this news that they just released now. Um, they actually said that, um, they are partnering in, uh, Disney's accelerator program. And you can actually see the news piece right here, uh, for a bit more detail on that. But Disney chooses Polygon Matic to participate in its accelerator program, focusing on NFTs, AR and VR. Um, so I will also be uh, doing a bit of a price prediction for Matic uh, Polygon. But um, you can see that, um, you know, Disney has invited them to uh, partake in this. And um, uh, Polygon is the only uh, blockchain project selected in the list of six. So uh, this is a pretty big deal. And uh, in fact, this is a little bit more, you know, uh, on the insider side of things, but um, Polygon Studios CEO Ryan Watt, who I believe used to work for YouTube Gaming, a very, very important player in uh, this, uh, this sort of media space. Uh, he is really uh, a, a big person to have on board for Polygon. And, um, and for that reason, I think, uh, you know, Polygon, uh, not only just because of this specific uh, partnership with uh, Disney, but uh, they have fully also um, been used now by Reddit. Uh, so Reddit actually came out this week and they said that they were set to utilize the Polygon, Polygon blockchain for decentralized trading and third-party sales for their collectible avatars uh, on the Reddit, Reddit uh, website. And uh, that is once again, you know, a pretty big deal, right? You're seeing major companies choose Polygon, not uh, any other blockchain, but Polygon uh, for their um, whatever they're using it for. But it's a very, very big deal. So this makes me even more bullish on Polygon right now. And even if you didn't have these partnerships uh, announced, you know, the, the Polygon uh, blockchain itself has been a pretty strong uh, competing uh, layer, layer, I mean, technically a layer two blockchain um, in the space, right? But uh, if we look at its price performance, last seven days, it's one of the few that's actually up over 10% here. So very strong performance even recently during this bear market. Yes, it did take a massive hit since its all-time high, which was right below $3. Uh, this can be seen on the longer term chart here, but overall, right, we're still holding pretty steady. We still have almost a bit of an uptrend going, uh, and I'm not trying to underplay this hit, right, but I'm actually quite happy we've seen this drop. I was buying a lot of Polygon, I'm going to say between um, probably about $2 and I'm going to say about $1.30.20, something like that. Uh, but even so, right, even though I am currently uh, down on my entry price on that position, um, I still think that, you know, I'm absolutely going to take Polygon at an 80% discount, right? I think this is absolutely uh, one of the blockchains that I feel the most confident is going to stay around in the long term. Uh, you know, its peak drop was uh, even a little bit lower, down to almost 90%. Uh, could we fall more than that? It's possible. You know, this is crypto and we are in a bit of a bear market. So I'm not going to say that it's not possible. Anything is possible. Um, but 
you know the next drop here would be very very low um so i i have a, a hard time seeing us uh really even go back towards our previous low that we put in here i think we have huge support there um if in event we did break this previous bottom uh we could go down to um about 20 cents uh 25 cents but I personally have a hard time seeing that happen. I think we actually did kind of find a bottom here for Matic. And uh, in fact, if we look at the chart structure, uh, we can already see uh, bullish patterns starting to form, most notably an inverse head and shoulder pattern that's beginning to play out. We have also, like I said, hit that bottom now. And uh, we have a bit of a shorter term uptrend that's now beginning to form on top of that. So all of these things are very, very bullish signs. Um, and if we look at the right now, actually in the very short term, what's happening, you can see that since we've been building this uptrend, right, bouncing off support uh, now three times, basically, uh, this most recent bounce was pretty key, right? Because this could have flipped us back into our low range, but instead we bounced off multiple support levels. Take a look at this. We bounced off our uh, purple uptrend line here that I just put in. We bounced off our blue horizontal support line. Uh, we also in tandem bounced off uh, the middle Bollinger Band here, this is this light orange line, and then we have this thicker orange line, which is our 50-day moving average. So we have uh, one, two, three, four different support levels coming in here and uh, helping support the price. And now I think we even have our Bollinger Bands that are slowly starting to turn higher. This is a recipe for a pump all the way back up to a full dollar, and I think this can happen within the next month or two. Uh, ultimately, for 2022-2023, I can see uh, Polygon reaching uh, easily over $5. Um, I even think there's an opportunity for uh, Polygon to go as high as testing $10 uh, by the end of 2023, maybe beginning 2024. Um, so, you know, that's a very big price increase here. I mean, we're, we're talking, you know, going back to uh, $5 is a little bit less than a, a 10x and um if we're managed to go anything above that, right, more towards $10, that's going to be basically a 20x. So a lot of price uh, appreciation possible long term. My price prediction for Polygon is indeed a whopping $20 plus price prediction. So I'm going to call it between $20 to $25 within the next five to 10 years for Polygon. Very bullish on it. It is a proof of stake coin currently yielding uh, at least around 10%, I believe, a year. So uh, very, very bullish. Uh, we have other big news, which is that Terra projects have started to band together in uh, migrating to the Polygon ecosystem. So after the fall of the Terra blockchain, uh, Polygon kind of uh, announced and, and uh, welcomed basically any projects that... Uh, took a hit from that to switch over to the stable Polygon 2, uh, Polygon Layer 2 network. And they have already started to see a lot of success on that happening. Uh, and I think, you know, that's just the beginning. I think many uh, projects are going to move over to Polygon. A bunch of projects are already on Polygon. You know, it has $1.91 billion in total value locked. If we look at SushiSwap, for example, just random projects, right? You can see that after Ethereum, their biggest uh, other blockchain in terms of TVL is indeed Polygon. So um, very, very successful blockchain. It's got Uniswap now uh, that's running on Polygon. So, you know, these are all extremely bullish, uh, you know, fundamental factors. And uh, if you combine that with our um, actual, you know, uh, chart price factors, uh, all bullish as well, uh, for, in my opinion. So uh, really, I, I, uh, I'm probably going to buy a bit of Matic today, actually. Um, and I think I'm slowly going to accumulate this within the coming months. Very bullish on it. I already own some Matic. I'm already staking it. And I think this is a very good time to, you know, who doesn't want uh, an 80% discount? You know what I mean? So uh, on such a good project as well. You know, this is not every day that you get uh, such a big discount on uh, a AAA project like this. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe. Uh, Matic is available for trading on Binance. I'll leave a link to Binance in the description of this video. Make sure to follow my Twitter, link to that as well in the description, and I will see you next time. Thank you so much for watching everyone. Stay safe and have a great day. I'll see you soon.